today I was curious to see what do you guys think of the upcoming Catalyst character, Heiser. Now, personally, I'm not one to make any early bets or calls on if a character is going to be good or not, but I have seen on Twitter and on Reddit and on all social media posts, a lot of people are excited, number one, right? Because they just, they see his animation style and he's the first one to have the, this sort of like martial art type of animation to his kit. But as far as his kit goes, we got to see it in this trailer in the 2.8 uh, live stream. And a lot of people are kind of putting their bets in pretty early and saying that he's not going to be as good. Um, a lot of people are comparing him to Zhao and saying that he's going to be a weaker Zhao. Um, basically because he's a four star and his stats will be lower. But honestly, you know, I can't really say anything yet. I'm excited for him. But that is what's being said so far. Is he is a weaker Zhao. And once again, these are just all of the claims and theories on Twitter and on Reddit and on the Higher Lab app. A lot of people are excited, like I said, but most people are kind of trashing him already, you know, I mean, before he even comes out. So I'm already seeing videos like Heizo looks strong, but we might be wrong about him. Heizo, big damage, big problems. He looks insanely strong, but and then just straight up Heizo will be bad. And once again, these are all theories and all like assumptions on what the character is going to be like when they come out. I don't have any opinion yet. You know, I like to just keep a clean slate and just wait until the character comes out first. With each and every character releasing, people kind of already have their thoughts of, is it going to be awful? Or is it going to be good? So far, most people are saying that Heizo is not going to be a good character. So, and as somebody who's fairly new to Genshin, you know, what I've learned so far is that when these characters come out, right, they may not have a solidified spot immediately on release. But as time goes on, they may fit a lot more than they did before. When Heizo comes out, I feel like there may not be a solidified spot for him, like I said. But with time going forward, you know, there might be a place for him that he fits perfectly. I feel like Hyoverse likes to, like I said, release a character and then later down the line, all of a sudden there's an artifact set that comes out. A brand new artifact set that is literally made for one specific character. So I feel like, you know... With every single one of these characters, maybe not every single one, but with Heizo, possibly, maybe, there might be an artifact set specifically made for him that even more so caters to him than what we have already. And you can never, ever forget about the Viridescent Venera set already. That set is already ridiculous. Now, Heizo may not be swirling too many elements with the way he plays, but, you know, you can definitely try different things and experiment. So that's my take on it. That's how I feel about him so far. You know, I just feel like, you know, you got to give every character some time first. Um, I have no real opinion on him right now, but I cannot wait to try him out. If I can get him, if not, uh, you know, we'll just try him out in a little demo. But that will do it for me and I will catch you guys very soon in the next one.